the family says they just don't get it. They believe the woman actually strangled their rabbit. Well, tonight she's behind bars here at the Marion County Jail, but authorities are still trying to figure out who she is. The incident happened around 11 a.m. Sunday. The owners of the property are great great grandparents. They brought the place about three years ago as a place to make memories with their great grandkids. They have horses, chickens, cats, dogs, and bunnies. Well, yesterday, Hattie Anderson noticed a woman wandering around their property near their garage and their bunny pen. From the porch, she yelled at the woman, and the woman eventually headed back toward the road. That's when Hattie went outside and found the pen door open and their bunny, Ollie, dead in a pile of debris. It's my place, and I was very violated that someone would come and do such a horrible thing to, to me as well as the bunny, and they don't even know us. So, you know, I just felt horrible. A short time later, she says the woman came back to their property. Hattie called the sheriff's office and deputies arrested the suspect. Hattie says there is a homeless camp about a half mile from their property, but they've never had any problems in the past. Back here live, the woman is now facing multiple charges, including animal abuse. She was supposed to appear in court today, but court authorities tell me she refused. So that hearing has now been rescheduled for tomorrow. Reporting live in Marion County, Amy Frazier, Queen 6 News. Sir.